and there we have it. The beginning to one of my favorite games ever made. I have this game on cartridge. Ah, uh, don't mind that. It, it should be a complete file, but due to the fact that I didn't save state afterwards and my battery saves are fucked up on this emulator, it didn't take. But, yeah. I love this game. I bought it, cartridge form. I have it on this, obviously. And overall, I just... Yeah, this, is, this was honestly going to be the first game I LP'd. And uh, the reason I'm doing it now is because... Well, a few hours ago I woke. A few hours ago I, I recorded some Zelda, which was Draken's LP, and I was happy with that being Draken's LP. But I woke up this morning and saw two things in my subscription box. First of all, was a one of my favorite LPs going right now, LPing Metroid Two. And I also noted that Draken was impeaching on my territory and LPing. Metroid Fusion. So, if he's going with Oracle of Ages and Fusion, why the hell not? I'll go Zero Mission and Link's Awakening. Usually I would just uh, mock through this on easy, but because I don't want to... Actually, that's a lie, but because people already mock me ruthlessly as it is, let's just go with them. I'm not used to playing this game on the controller, by the way, so... Fair warning. Planet Zebus. I called this place home once in, a peace, in peaceful times long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here. My so-called Zero Mission. Zebus! Awesome beginning is awesome. Okay, if you haven't played uh, Metroid before, you go... Right to the left, and get the Morph Ball immediately. Profits are good. See, I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to uh, do my wall jump shenanigans with an analog stick, but hey. Okay, a few things to note with this ROM. I know, I shouldn't be really talking about ROMs. Uh, there's a bit of lag here and there. Um, also... We'll be we'll be back for that. So yes, Metroid Zero Mission, uh, the uh, Game Boy Advance remake, essentially of the original Metroid for the NES, an awful awful game. And this one is my favorite game in the Metroid series. Favorite, one of my favorite games ever. A lot of people prefer um, Super Metroid and. I can see why. It's much more expansive, but this one just plays better, so I prefer it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do the wall jumping without practice, so... <laughs> yeah, I might be able to. Yeah, get out of the way. Just a uh, fair warning to everybody, don't expect... Oh, come on. Don't expect this to be a 100% run. I don't usually do that in this game, I just like playing it for fun. And like all of my LPs, this is, this is purely for fun. Eh, why not? Speed up. Yeah, now we have a laser that can shoot more than a meter. Okay. Here is one of the dumbest things about this game. And there's two occasions of it. Two very weird occasions of it. To go forward, you have to do something stupid. And in this case, you have to go back. And look at this. And just let it go for about a, five seconds. Why? I don't know. It, it confuses me, to be honest. 
Also, a uh, mini boss, I guess. Murder it with gun. And another Chozo statue. Now we gotta get all the way over there. This game is probably going to be one of my shorter LPs because it's not a very long game to begin with, first of all. And second of all, I, I'm doing this partially to make Draken look, look, look bad, so yay friendship. Oh, thanks for the no health. Uh, you don't need that the long beam to get through here. You can do that, but eh. Might as well not sequence break yet. Okay, this is one of the corridors where the game lags. I'm warning you already. There's about three sequences in this game that makes this game lag like hell. That is unfortunately one of them. First missile tank has been acquired. Very simple, very easy stuff. Uh, even though I'm not getting 100% of the stuff, don't worry, I'm getting enough. Shoot the eyeball. Shoot the eyeball again. Shoot the eyeball again. Again, very, very simple stuff. And you get the charge beam for it. Not that useful in this game, but hey, um, anything helps. Plus, it does something special. Full charge, make it full, and you do a impromptu screw attack, kind of. Anybody who doesn't really know what a screw attack is, you do a rolling jump into an enemy and kill them. Like that. There we go. Quick save room. Probably not really, uh good for time, but hey, why the hell not? Red doors require missiles, very simple stuff, again. Uh, acid bad, that, that was acid bad again! I can't platform. Um, really easy missile tank here. Just kill the cocoon, and missile tank easy. Now screw it. Wow, I'm not used to the buttons. Or I'm not used to pressing the button and jumping this. Although the tapping for the button is quite quite worth it. <laughs> This is just another one of those laughable ones. Missile tank really early in the game. Not that bad. And the first E-tank. Again, very easy. That did... I really gotta get used to that. 360 controller seems to have a little bit of button lag on this one. Or I suck. Could be either, really. There we go. Save room, right? Yeah. I'll take that health. And this is the morph ballroom, right? Yeah, this one lags as well. I'm, I apologize. And with the Morph Bomb, I think I will end off this first part. It, it's weird, I'm actually playing a game that I know what I'm doing. It's, it's quite the refreshing.
quite the refreshing change at 1.30 in the morning. So, um, this is Sove, this is Metroid Zero Mission, thank you guys for watching, and, um, see you all next time.